Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about 21st Conference of Parties of United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Okay, uh, so before moving further, let's look at a quick overview about United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. UNFCCC, uh, it's a major climate change treaty representing worldwide agreement that action is needed against climate change. So under this convention, uh, all the countries of the world, almost all the countries of the world, agreed to reduce the global warming and release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change entered into force in 1994. Uh, the first conference of parties of UNFCCC uh, was started in 1995. The first of the general annual international negotiation on climate change stipulated by UNFCCC leading to Kyoto Protocol in 1997. So, I have covered all these issues. What are conference of parties? What is Kyoto Protocol? And other issues in my previous videos. If you if you have not watched this, please watch that and come back here later. Okay. So Kyoto Protocol. So this was in 1997. The 37 developed nations and economies in transition commit to reducing their emission by at least 5% below 1990 level from 2008 to 2012. Okay. So in 2005, Kyoto Protocol entered into force. So countries with greenhouse gas reduction targets are now committed to them. Okay, so the first uh, commitment period of Kyoto Protocol started from 2007 to 2012. Okay, 2012. So after that, second commitment period started from 2012 to 2020. Okay, 2012 to 2020. In this backdrop, that is the second commitment period uh, of Kyoto Protocol going to end by 2020. So 21st UNFCCC Conference of Parties was held in 2015 in Paris to decide an agreement to succeed Kyoto Protocol. So after 2020, there was there is no agreement uh, for legally binding commitment or any commitment to reduce the global warming and greenhouse gas emissions. So to succeed second commitment period of Kyoto Protocol and to agree on an agreement uh, to succeed the Kyoto Protocol, uh, the Paris climate deal was organized. Okay, so that is the background here. Uh, so this 2015 United Nations uh, Climate Change Conference, that is Conference of Parties 21st, uh, was held in Paris, France from November 28th to 12th uh, December 2015. So this 21st year session of Conference of Parties uh, it is the 11th session of meeting of parties to 1997 Kyoto Protocol. So the conference negotiated the Paris Agreement, a global agreement on reduction of climate change, the text of which represented a consensus of the representatives of 196 parties attending to it. So this parties results in the Paris Agreement. Please remember this Paris Agreement is very important which uh, provides the agreement of all the countries, parties to it. Uh, to devise a mechanism to reduce global warming after 2020 okay so this agreement will become legally binding if joined by at least 55 percent countries sorry 55 countries which together represents at least 55 percent of the global greenhouse gas emission so if the 55 countries at least 55 countries with at least 55 percent of the global greenhouse gas emission agrees and signs and ratifies this agreement this will comes into force okay so on 22nd april 2016 on the earth day 174 countries signed the agreement in new york uh, and it is opened for ratification ratification is a procedure uh, where the countries takes the matter to their parliament and assemblies to get the consent of their uh, of, the, of their lawmakers okay so that is getting the consent of the countries uh, so once it is ratified uh, by 55 percent of the uh, greenhouse gas emitters and at least 55 countries it will uh, become into force so prior to the conference before the paris conference 146 national climate panels publicly presented draft national climate contribution so uh, 146 countries has submitted their intended nationally determined contributions so these are the pledge taken by those countries uh, so this explains their commitment to reduce the greenhouse gas emission and their plan and their nationally determined contribution to reducing global warming and greenhouse gas emission. So they submit their own intended nationally determined contribution. Uh, that is 
designed by their own. There, there is no uh, influence from external agency uh, to determine the INDCs. So these suggested uh, uh, these uh, suggested commitments were estimated to limit global warming to 2.7 degrees Celsius by 2000, 2000. So, for example, uh, European Union suggests that in its intended national determined contribution, it has pledged that 40% of the re reduction in emission by the year 2030 uh, when compared to 1990 level. Okay, so um, they will reduce the greenhouse gas emission 40%, okay, 40% below 1990 level by the year 2030. So, that is their pledge, that is their intended nationally determined contribution towards reducing the global warming and uh, climate change. So, likewise, all the countries have agreed uh, and provided, submitted um, uh, their INDCs to UNFCC based on which uh, it was uh, calculated that uh, we could limit the global warming to only 2.7 percent above the uh, pre-industrial level by the year 2000 with those contributions. So, agreement established a global stock take which revisit national goals to update and enhance the them every five years by the year 2023. Uh, so that is about the Paris uh, uh, UNFCCC uh, conference of parties, 21st conference of parties of UNFCCC. In the next video, let's discuss about the Paris Agreement. The Paris Agreement, which was uh, negotiated during the uh, negotiated during the 21st conference of parties of UNFCCC. Okay, that is important. Uh, let's also discuss about the outcomes of Paris uh, Agreement and uh, various features which are relevant from the examination point of view.